Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amiza and in today's video, we are going to be doing February plan with me. So before we start, these are all the supplies I am using in this month setup. My theme for February is cherry blossoms. Um, I actually asked you guys what themes you want to see me create for February and I'm actually quite surprised to see that almost all of you suggested cherry blossoms. Um, frankly speaking, I'm quite worried at first because it looks a bit complicated to draw but I decided to just go for it and see what I can come up with. So in this cover page, I'm using the date stamp that I received from Rachel of the Tinted Ink. I will make sure to put her Instagram account on my description below in case you guys are interested to get this stamp. For the decoration, as you guys can see, I first use my pencil just to give myself the rough idea of where I want to draw the cherry blossoms and I then went ahead and used my Crayola Super Tips in the color of light pink to um, sort of outline the flowers. To add in some details, I went ahead and used my Artland fine liner in the size of 02 and I draw the branch by using the same fine liner. This cover page is quite simple. If you guys know me from Instagram, you guys probably know by now that all my spreads are always this simple. I do not want to overdo everything and frankly speaking, I really like how this cover page turned out. Moving on to the next page, this is my monthly overview. Um, to be honest, I never done this type of layout before. I've seen a lot of people using this layout, so I thought why not give it a try. If it works, there is a big chance you guys will probably see this layout again in my next month setup. In case anyone is wondering, the size for each day is 6 times 6 grids. The empty space on the left hand side is where I put all the notes or reminder I have for February. To decorate this monthly overview, I draw another branch of cherry blossoms on the upper left corner of this spread. It does look a bit tricky to draw but trust me, it's not as complicated as it looks. You don't have to be precise while drawing the cherry blossoms or even the branches um, because this way I personally think it helps me to sort of make everything look even more realistic. You can always use your pencil first to sort of help you visualize on where you want to draw the cherry blossoms or where you want the branches to go before you actually draw them with your Crayola Super Tips or any colored pen. For the header, I am using the same header style as my cover page to make everything look nice and uniform. And I also use my gold gel pen to write in the year just below the header. The next spread is my habit tracker spread. 
This is also another new layout I'm bringing to my journal this month. Um, I'm actually in the mood of trying something new and I went extra with this habit tracker by adding all the small circles that represent the days for this month. The space in the left hand side is where I write down all the habits that I want to track. So to track my habits, I will just go and fill in the circles for each habit that I complete. Since I'm planning on drawing another branches of cherry blossoms on the next page, and I want to sort of bring more minimalism vibes to the whole setup, I just left this spread without drawing any cherry blossoms. Moving to the next page, this is my quote page. As you guys know, this is the month of love. And as some of you guys might know, I went downhill last two years. It wasn't the best year of my life. And if there's one thing I learned from that is self-love is the most essential thing above everything else. It promotes better mental health. So this month quotes are all focused on self-love as well as self-awareness. If you are struggling, remember that everyone is flawed, everyone is imperfect, and that's completely okay. There is no competition in life, and we all move at our own pace. So back to this quote page, I am using my pencil first to roughly draw a rhombus shape before I went ahead and traced the line with my gold gel pen. Um, I also draw another branches of cherry blossoms on the rhombus shape to complete the decoration for this quote page. Moving on to the next and the last spread for this month setup. This is my weekly spread. For this spread, I sort of just divide the page into seven columns for the days of the week. This is actually the same layout I've used in my journal last year. Um, I really like this layout because it is very simple. You can actually get it done in less than 10 minutes. I also added some outlines for the days of the week to sort of make everything um, pops out a little but uh, I'm truly sorry my camera decided to die on me in the middle of recording the process. You can see the complete spread in my final flip through just in a moment. Um, on the left side of this spread, I draw a wreath of cherry blossoms with some pops of gold color by adding some leaves around the wreath with my gold gel pen. Um, I know it probably sounds weird hearing me complimenting my own spread, but I cannot lie, I really like how this spread turned out. So guys, here's the final flip through of my February setup. 
Um, to be fair, I never draw cherry blossoms in my entire life. So hopefully, um, I don't disappoint you guys. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Before we end, let me know if you guys have any questions. I would really appreciate it if you guys can help me grow my channel by liking this video and subscribing. Also, don't forget to tag me on my Instagram account if you are twinning with me this month. Talk to you guys again, hopefully in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.